Hello friends, welcome back to the Active Directory Automation series and in this video we will see how we can create a new user in Active Directory. So the function I already write so I will explain each and every line what is going on there. To save time I actually copy and paste from my other file. Let's just import one library which we're gonna use here that is import date time and let's go back to our function so i just created a new function called create user and in that create user we have few arguments that we need to provide few parameters that we need to provide right first is the username that what username you want uh, employee id i'm using employee id here to create some sam uh, account name and uh, display name what display name you want to display for that user these three are parameters and one is active which is a boolean parameter which is like true and false okay so now we uh, i will just go to the command which is useful uh, which is responsible to create that and that command is ds add user and ds add user and after that whatever you are seeing is like i'm just building this command in using python so basically ds add required first you need to provide a distinguished name dn right and the dn you need to create first to create a dn you need to uh, you need to use this syntax where you can use cn equals to and then i'm using username and organizational unit so if uh, we will we will just print that once once uh, I will, I will explain this first and then I will I will show you all this like what it looks like so again the the thing is we also created a group here and in that group I will say that hey you know create this user and put inside this group all group and USB deny group and if you want to create in some other groups you can add those also if that group exists on the server right now I have this all and USB deny exist on the server so that's why i use these two okay so now ds add first thing is that and the second is same id and the same id should be a unique id so that i'm using employee id for that and you can also use uh, even employee id or if the username sometimes the username uh, might conflict so you can use employee id just to be safe side because that don't conflict between employees Another thing is the display, which is the display name, employee ID, you can pass this parameter, it will display inside the object, uh, the uh, attributes of the employee you know, users inside Active Directory. Description is important if you want to add some description. I will add a description where I will add, hey, this user is added by AD bot and the date time. And that's why we call date time dot date time now. I use a default password here so whenever I create a new user from the AD client then this password will be set and then later on once the user login first time they log in they will they can change their password so that's why must change password I provided yes and password never expire yes these are all parameters that you can pass there and account expire never so these are the few settings that i used here you can go and check the ds add user command line because this is not something which is related to python this is microsoft active directory server already have directory services command line system command line interface so let me just quickly show you here if you go to the server and if you type ds add and user and if you just hit enter now it's you are actually added uh, inserted into the command line mode of ds add let me just quickly see the command line arguments which we can pass ds add and help and here you see the ds add ds get move and all these commands are already there and also you can check the entire the tools and commands that add specific type of objects to the directory and that's what we want to access in our ad server so ad uh, like ds add user will actually execute the same commands there all right 
so let me just uh, print also what command I'm going to send so I'm once I created a command I will just uh, print print my command and just stop this execution for this time because we don't want to create at this time first we, we will see what we're gonna say and then just run create user and username I will say Rajiv and employee ID let's say hqvfx1 okay uh, and then full name is Rajiv Sharma and account active yes active true okay so with this if I if I send the if I run this function with these parameters or argument then you will see this is the command that you need to send to the Active Directory server to create a new user maybe let me just zoom it so you can see you know so this is the command that we are creating through the Python function this Python function is doing that right and you see this all domain controller hqvfx.com employee group and these all are coming from our global variable that we created in our previous videos right okay so now all good let's just execute that and see if it's create anything on server or not let's just quickly see in our boat also what our boat is do send command right click run and here we see it's failed wow because access is denied so now here is the again the second tip if you run this board make sure you have enough administrative privileges otherwise you will see access is denied let's just run this again access denied perfect so just close this and right click run as administrator because right now I'm in a normal user account here which is don't have administrator rights but now I run as admin and let's just run this and also before that let's just check in our employee all right click refresh nothing is there run it okay here client side no error Boat ds add succeed okay here we are good and inside employee let's refresh and we just created rajiv here as we already know that the username is this and description is which we set here that this ad board uh, this user is added by ad board and the date time will be visible in the description and that is because of this line okay and if you just double click on this member properties then you can in the general section you can see the display name is also visible so whenever this user login into the network it will see this username into the computer so with that you can create a user inside active directory server and now we will try to create uh, we will try to edit the active directory user inside python so i will see you in my next video